Look at all the detail now that we have entered the next gen. Look at all that color. We're definitely pushing the graphics of next gen. Detective mode on. Wow, even your guys' skeletons are in 1080p. Better get used to skeletons in 1080p, cause when you're Batman, why would you turn detective mode off? Are you ready to go all Arkham Knight? Then get your Batman Arkham Knight DC collectibles figures at BigBadToyStore.com. Links in the description. What up big kids, here's your big review, the Batman Arkham Knight DC Collectibles Batman video game action figure. So here we got the new packaging for the Batman Arkham Knight figures by DC Collectibles. Really nice packaging, I like on the side right here. It has like a digital scan of each character as Batman Arkham Knight. You can see the figure in its window display box. It has the Batman Arkham Knight symbol, it says Batman on the side, number one. It has a big old warning label. Warning you want to choke on your Batman, you'll be having an Arkham Knight of choking. I like how the top of the box is the Batman chest symbol. Back here has the Batman symbol says Batman, has a digital scan of Batman, shows all the other figures in the wave including Arkham Knight, Scarecrow, and Harley Quinn. Well let's see if DC Collectibles did Batman justice. And here we got the Batman Arkham Knight DC Collectibles Batman video game figure. This is definitely the best Batman figure that DC Collectibles has made from the Batman Arkham line. Let's take a closer look at it. Now DC Collectibles has always done a great job with their sculpting for the Batman Arkham line and this is definitely no different. This figure definitely has a really nice sculpt and wash very accurate to the video game his flesh tone is a little bit more pale than i would like it it's not really painted just the plastic that they've been using it's not bad at all it still looks very cool and the look of batman in this uh, game versus the other games is probably my favorite look yet it's very much like his armored look in like batman arkham city armored edition definitely more streamlined i really love the sculpting in his bat symbol on there and ab section and i really love the shoulder pieces i really also love that dc Club always makes these soft rubbery plastic capes you know they're not too heavy even though I would prefer a more uh, cloth cape but that's just me I really like the sculpting on the back right here nice bat bud as always and yeah the utility belt sculpting looks amazing I really love the sculpting on the gauntlet very much uh, his armored look he definitely needs to upgrade after going through Batman Arkham Asylum and Arkham City and Origins if you want to count that too I just really love the wash and paint all around even under side of the boots you can see it and he has peg holes so he doesn't come with a stand it's been dented up it looks like he's not fully battle damaged but it's definitely not right out of the bat cave i'm really happy that dc collectibles has up their articulation on these figures too batman's head can move left and right it can actually fully rotate but it will be on a weird angle when you do it, it can go up a little bit and down a little bit his arms do fully rotate uh they can go in and out that much the shoulder piece uh does hinder it a little bit it does uh rotate at the bicep too been at two points at the elbow which I love rotate at the wrist as well as going out has a nice ab crunch forward really good and back and it's uh, still nicely sculpted when he goes back he does have a waist joint that uh, rotates and his legs do go forward and back his utility belt is soft rubbery plastic so it doesn't hinder the articulation he can pretty much do the splits the width is awesome rotate at the part of the leg been at two points at the knee and his ankles can pivot forward and back can fully rotate and he has a nice ankle pivot side the side. Batman comes with three accessories. He comes with this uh, battering that he's been using throughout the games. Has a nice silver paint. And he comes with his line launcher, one of the gadgets you acquire throughout the games. Really nice detail. And you also get the hand to actually work with the line launcher. It fits uh, in these two holes. It fits nicely. Hey Bats, how do you like my new uniform? It's better than your Suicide Squad outfit, but needs more black. How do you like my new suit? Jeez Bats, I think it has too much black. You can never have enough black. Size comparison time. So the Batman Arkham Knight figures are in the 7 inch scale. So they are in scale with like say the Batman Arkham City 2 Face, Also in scale with the NECA Michael Keaton Batman. Definitely taller than the Movie Masters Dark Knight Batman or the Batman I mean, series DC Collectibles uh, Batman as well as Marvel Legend figures like the Mark 43 Iron Man. Now I've been a fan of DC Collectibles Batman Arkham figures since the beginning and they've only gotten better with time. This figure definitely has a lot more articulation and I really love the suit that Batman wears in Batman Arkham Knight. And I do like that he does come with a battering and his line launcher as well as an extra hand. And at $20, $22, it's not a bad price. And I'm really, really happy with this figure. You can get this at Big Bad Toy Store right now. Link is in the description. If you haven't picked up any of the Batman Arkham figures, this is definitely the one to get and I highly recommend. For more, check out my website at SeanLongsLong.com. Like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, Instagram. Links in the description. I'm Sean Long, where live long and love life. So I heard you're going with more armored look. Uh, rip up. <laughs> Sorry, allergies. A genius billionaire that 
that uses his fortune to create a suit and gadgets to fight crime. Sounds like an idea that came out 75 years ago. How old are you again? Uh, 50. 50, huh? Like 50 shades of gray? And just like that movie, you're a disappointment. It's about 50 shades of black. It's time to head out. You want to be prepared when heading into battle. Alright, I better leave before I lose my head over this. Yeah.